condolence message from Buhari Erufai five days after CBN as Deputy Governor my Lafia's death. Hunted alive, not honored in death, this phrase perhaps succinctly captured the story of a former Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Dr. Obadia Melafia, who died in early hours of Sunday, September 19, 2021. Melafia died at the age of 64 at the University of Abuja Teaching Hospital, Gwagwalada, after a brief illness. His death shocked many Nigerians who looked up to him for his audacious voice against perceived official tardiness that has contributed to the crisis being experienced in certain sectors of the national life, including the economy. Many leading organizations, including the Northern Governors Forum, Christian Association of Nigeria, Southern Kaduna People's Union, Ariwa Consultative Forum, N National Consultative Front, amongst others, have since mourned the passing of the developmental economist. However, in an unusual departure from the norm, the presidency and the upper bank where Melafia served as deputy governor between May 2005 and March 2007, have kept no. Though the presidency has not issued any condolence message on the death of Melifa five days after, it has condoled with legendary juju singer Sunday Ade Geye, aka King Sonny Ade, on the death of his wife Risi Kat Ade Geye, who died on Tuesday. The presidency had also expressed sadness over the death of Emir of Gaia Ibrahim Ab Abdukadi, who died on Wednesday, September 2022, a clear four days after Melafia's demise. This is even as the administration had also congratulated a September 21st day Prime Minister of Canada Justin Trudeau on his reemergence after a hard fought snap election. The Cardinal State Government, the home state of the deceased economist, it has also not issued any condolence message on the demise of Melafia. But the Benue State Governor Samuel Thomas described Melafia as a true patriot saying that this death was painful to Nigerians, especially the people of Middle Bed. Efforts to reach presidential spokesman Femi Adesino proved abortive, as he neither took calls to his lines nor replied to text messages sent by our correspondent on the matter. Also, efforts to reach the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, as well as spokesman Shegwade Yemi, were unsuccessfully, as their lines were unreachable. Why sex message sent to his lines were not replied as of press time. Muiwa Adekeye. Special Advisor on Media and Communication to Kaduna State Governor Nas Erufai did not take calls to his line and did not reply to a text message sent by the punch. Our correspondent contacted CBN Acting Director, Corporate Commission, Department Osita, Nwanisobi, but when the matter was raised, in a phone conversation on Thursday morning, he said, Can you please send whatever you want to my phone? Hmm. Well, however, he had yet to reply to a text message sent by our correspondent on the matter. Meanwhile, controversies have since treated the demise of the Cardinal State Indigent 
as the Medubert Forum alleged that he was shabbily treated by doctors at the hospital. The hospital management has denied the allegation, saying the doctor did all they could to save Melafia's life. <laughs> okay, oh. if not so, una want time. Huh. Well, now the follow person they fight so the person dies see they follow and fight for grief hmm. these politicians i don't just know how they think maybe they will not die one day hmm. who knows maybe they are going to live for eternity or they will not die i don't know but there is a popular saying or there is a way they used to say that death is inevitable we are all going to die one day the only prayer we just normally pray or we should be praying rather is that God should do us to give us a long life so that we can live longer than our own parents, parents, parents. We will live longer than them. That is the prayer we always been praying. Or should I rather say that's the prayer I have been praying? I don't know about you. Well, to the comment section, someone here said, I am not surprised Nigeria lost over 65 souls to head us in Benin State. No, nothing was heard from our government. Sony wives passed away on yesterday. They quickly sent their condolence. Their condolence. Can't we read between lines and lies? Okay, at least he didn't repent. At the same time, no. Nobody's tomorrow is naturally granted. Hmm. Well, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Silence speaks volume. Hmm. Do you elogize someone you allegedly killed? Ha! Huh. The answer gets out of hand. Someone say we don't expect any fake condolence message from them. That's one attribute of Buhari that you can never take away from him. No presence for hatred. Followed by don't talk or mark of a wicked soul. Hmm. Well, I don't know what's really going on with Buhari and this Melafia. But if you ask me, a man who is dead is dead. Why would they continue this whole fury bad battle between them? Even when someone is dead and gone. Hmm. God sees every unseen and unknown and unknown. Every hidden issues before man is clearly known to God, and God will surely judge everybody at end of the day accordingly. Hmm. Well, by the fruit we shall know them. <laughs> by which fruit? Are ah, this one's fruit? All these Buhari counterparts. There is no nothing like fruit about them. They are all. Jaws full of bitter set of people. Hmm. Dear Mata, I made no worry. She be they say, Femi Adeshina no the picking call. That in phone go bomb forever. Well, you can go to the comment section and share it on this article. Thanks for listening.